Hello. Uh, well, I just got a package in the mail. And I'm pretty sure it's a board game, but I'm not actually sure which game it is. I have a few things coming. I have my suspicions, but the best way to do it is just open it up and see what we've got inside. Hopefully it's something cool and not something that I shouldn't have bought. Um, just a moment, I'll get this last bit of tape off of here. It's very sticky. All right, here we go. So what do we have? So I received this one, not from any particular shipping company. It just sort of showed up with a number uh, from Germany. So it's something from Germany. All right, some nice paper packaging. Ah, it is in fact the thing I expected, suspected it was going to be. It's my copy of Clash of Galliforms with um, a second copy because there was a bit of a mix-up with this one. I did a, I did a, a little bit of a, a preview for the people running the Kickstarter and uh, for our podcast, and um, they actually gave me a free copy. But I also bought a copy, um, but it was on a different email address, so I ended up with two copies, which is fine. I like that. Oh, nothing wrong with that. Um, so this is a... This is a cool little game. It's set in some sort of weird post-apocalyptic future where humanity is basically driven back to the Stone Age. Um, and the survivors are trying to make do in sort of a, a, a tundra uh, wasteland. Um, and the main uh, sort of advancement of civilization is, is, is the existence and taming of giant galliforms. Or like, you know, turkeys and chickens and... and uh, and, and uh, grouse um, and fowl and uh, so you, you, you play as one of these different clans and each clan is sort of um, the master of their own uh, subspecies of galliform and uh, you're trying to just control the map um, I guess you would call it kind of a 4x game uh, you know find sources of food and and resources and you can advance your technology and you've also got to find nesting places for your chickens um and i think the cover sort of explains it all there's a sort of a caveman riding on top of the back of a giant um sort of turkey uh creature and uh, i mean it's such a creative idea uh so the people that made this company i think they're from Scandinavia? Where's all the information? Let's see, we've got this second box here. How cool is that? So, that was from... Ah, what do we got here? Toady Games, I believe. Um, and there it is. And they did all their own game design, and they have the, their own artwork. And it's pretty cool. Alright, so here's the rule book. Not too complicated. And I think we have it in Livre de Regalis and Regelbach. Oh, wait, Livre de, that's the rule book. So that's in French and this one's in German. So I've got German, French, and English. And then here's all the punch boards and even more punch boards. And here's the really cool dual, dual layered player board. So you can choose your clan. So you, this is the Quails clan. And then there's the Horned Curacao clan. And the Greater Sage Grouse Clan. Now, just to keep in mind, these are all gigantic rideable versions. There's the Capricilius, the Blue Eared Pheasants, and oh, my favorite, the Blood Pheasants. They're probably the most aggressive clan. And then it has this cool uh, modular triangular board. Very neat. And I played this game before, I played it on um, uh, TTS as a, as a preview. And then all of our little our meeples in their screen printers. We got the yellow ones. Here's the blood blood pheasants, I believe, or the red ones. It's a pretty fun game. Well, having played it, I'm glad to have the actual physical version of it. Here's the little cards that you can collect, and there it is. And there's something on the bottom here. What are these? Ah, some puzzles. So part of the game is you're supposed to um, collect the pieces of these sort of puzzles, these artifacts of the previous civilization. And um, 
you know, it's one of the, the win conditions is completing uh, your own, one of these puzzles so you can advance your clan to the next stage. And it's a double-sided board, so we've got a snowy side and like a springtime side. It's like, um, I think of it as like Clan of the Cave Bear meets, um, I don't know, what's a, what's a, what's a movie with giant chickens in it? <laughs> uh, it's really cool. I actually was really impressed with what they put together the, um, and the mechanics of the game. So there it is, Clash of Galliforms from Toady Games. This should be available in retail pretty soon. And if you've got the Kickstarter, um, it's like it's on its way. So that's great. Um, came in great condition. And there it is. So have a look for this one. Um, and if you're interested, we will probably play this game and maybe even eventually do a review on our podcast, hotgamemagnet.com. Um, in the meantime, uh, please like and subscribe if you, you know, enjoyed this video and want to see more. Leave a comment below if you have something to say, positive or negative. Uh, just want to tell me it's great. Or if you want me to go back and have a closer look at some component and tell you more about it, I'm always happy to shoot another video. And what was the last thing? Like and subscribe. Oh, yeah, the little bell button um, if you want to be notified when I do a video. Anyways, thanks for watching, and until next time, please... Have a lovely day.